Hi, so this is my third um, Halloween nail art design. It's kind of a sparkly, cobwebby one. So the first thing I did was paint all my nails in number seven's pearly pink. It's number 30. And then the next thing I'm going to do is grab a bright orange. So I've got Orange Flame by Nina Ultra Pro. And I'm going to paint the tips. So what I've done is I've gone in different directions, kind of every other nail. So this one I've got the thinner bit at that end and then I've gone for the thinner bit at that end. So this time we want the thinner bit at that end again. So you just want to paint it diagonally across like that. And then you want to do the opposite diagonal when you get to the other nail. like that. With this colour I do think you need two coats so you can get a really nice bright orange coming through. Just like that. You want to let that dry for a little bit and then you want to add the glitter. So I've got Nina Ultra Pro's Silver Slipper. It's just silver glitter in a polish. So I want to add the glitter. On this one, I want to add it across the whole of the bright orange tip. You kind of want enough for it to be sparkly but not so much that it covers up the orange completely. And then on this one, I'm going to add kind of a section on the side just there. You kind of want to add it where you're going to add the cobwebs. So I'm going to put it there like that. And then what you want to do is grab your nail art pen. So I'm using a black nail art pen and this is to create the cobwebs. So on this finger, you want to keep the cobweb completely on the kind of bright orange tip section. So you want a line underlining the orange tip. And then you want about two other lines coming from the corner. like that and then you want to add your lines in between the cobwebs so you can either do the lines straight or you can try and do them curved it depends how easy your brush is to use like that and then on this nail you want to add the cobweb kind of going in the opposite direction but going on to the pearly pink base as well so I find it's best to start off with the middle line like that and then add a line either side and then add your other lines in between those lines.
like that. So that's the design finished. Once it's all dry, you want to put your top coat on just to seal it all in, and then you're done. So I hope you like it. There's um, two other designs on my channel, iBeauty Boutique, so check it out and see what you think.